Shilpi Amit is asking importance of thymus gland. How beautiful. Okay, so thymus gland is first of all for the listeners. It's here. Okay, just about your about your heart is the thymus gland, and thymus gland and heart is connected to your heart chakra. Thymus is something that is connected to releasing also serotonin. It's a part of endocrine system. Endocrine system are the seven glands. These are connected to seven chakras, and these are the glands those release hormone. Thymus particularly has a connection with having fun, having lots of love, self love, and self acceptance, self forgiveness. Thymus gland is very active in children until the age of 14. It's absolutely active, and after the age of 14, what happens is because of the judgments that we have about ourselves and about the world, maybe the rejections that we have gone through. We all go through certain experiences in our life, and the way we look at those experiences, and if your emotional regulation is not okay. if you don't view that experience as one of an experience and if you start making it like your life if you attach that one rejection and make it like everybody rejects me and i'm not a lovable person most people have these beliefs that i'm not good enough i will not be loved uh, you know i'm not likable uh, people reject me people don't accept me i can't trust people people betray me now all of these connections are to do with your heart chakra and your heart chakra is straight connected to your thymus gland and when Uh, so that's about the thymus gland, and thymus gland is directly related to serotonin secretion. And serotonin is a uh, hormone that secretes your, uh, that is secreted by your pineal gland, and it's one of the happy hormones. And the science has proven now that as much as your brain produces the hormones and it has got the neurons, even your heart has got the neural connections. So uh, thymus gland is very 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 important gland, and if you if you see this uh, Shilpi, uh, you know most of times when we go through a very shocking situation, immediately the heart goes like this, right? You protect your thymus gland. Actually, we are all wired in certain way. Our our body and our brain is so wired. Like how in how in animal kingdom it happens, right? If the if the dog's stomach is not okay the dog goes and eats the grass and vomits and sets his system right even human beings had the certain instincts and certain kind of things which were designed for us over a period of time we are missing out on those things because we plugged into a lot of external stimuli we losing the connection with ourselves but if you look at if you look at when 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 somebody is grieving or when someone goes through a loss or you know if you have seen uh, tarzan there's a lot of beating on the chest right in a lot of cultures there's a beating of the chest and the beating of the chest happens because you're beating and activating the thymus gland so that you are releasing those courageous hormones you are releasing that love when you go through a loss or when you lose somebody if you see this culture of rudali in rajasthan which all about you know beating your chest and crying if you see even in uh, islam there is beating of the chest happens because at that moment you're grieving for your prophet and you are releasing the serotonin so your body goes into the balance it's a very important hormone to bring you on a balance and homeostasis and that's the most critical part of thymus and there's a reason when you are in the very you know uh, suppose you are in the dark and some just something just jumps onto you just protect your thymus gland like this right so you give your with your two palms like these are the typical pranic healing reiki healing uh, you know people uh, do the healing through the palms right so actually you're protecting your thymus by doing this action and you are giving it energy so that it gets activated so it creates the balance because serotonin is one of the most critical hormones that is released in the morning at the brahma muhurt around 3:45 to 4:30 and that's the time when your serotonin releases and that's the time that you get into the action your brain your body wake, wake, wakes up right so it's a very critical hormone to bring the balance and it also releases the stress most of the times whenever there is you know we live in a stressful environments and there's a lot of adrenaline built up in the body and every time you go into shock or loss or anything there's an adrenaline build up happens and that's the reason when you touch your thymus like this you remind your body your brain to release the serotonin so that your body goes into the balance you're managing the stress well and you also get into the action 
so that's the importance of thymus gland in short because there's so much i can speak about this gland and it's such an important gland shilpi thank you very much that was a wonderful wonderful question and i think uh, a lot of people will be benefited through this answer uh, so mri mri experts is asking why sometimes tools in usc works and sometimes not well the tools work all the time sometimes we make them work or we make them not there's a distinction if the tools have worked once they will work all the time but it's like a machine right the operator operates the machine so operator is you so there are moments in your space when you are you know we get sucked into the negative zone we get sucked in and pulled into a victim zone where we stop thinking and even though we are doing those tools we are in the space of using the logic too much and every time you are using the logic too much to make head and tail of that situation the tools are not going to work because remember something every time there is something happened there is a part of you which is going through a loss right and every time you are grieving you are coming out of the loss there is a time span so some in some losses in some grievances you can bounce back quickly with the help of the same machine but in some losses it may take longer period of time to bounce back so yes the tools will work in every situation sometimes the time frame will be different so be more patient with that time frame and if and that's the reason you know i also tell this to everybody that you know don't stop at us if it's possible go to the next level because then you have a hand holding happening with the coaches and that will start making all the difference because you're going to be in a community of people you're going to be in an environment of the people those who do not allow you to stay in the victim zone for a longer period of time so it's not just the coaches but the entire community is with you to hold you accountable and to pull you out of your zone so the tools we are working just that the time frame is probably not working and i always tell this to people no goals are unrealistic there are only unrealistic timelines so overcoming any challenge is not a problem there is only that challenge of timeline so be more patient my dear and it will work for you okay